This is for those of you who are um, helping me build uh, a hardware interface and a diagnostic tool, maybe even an emulator for um, the data pulses on the QIC 36 interface for uh, QIC 11 and QIC 24 uh, tape formats from back in the early to mid 1980s. Um, <clears throat> so the purpose of this video would be a demonstration on how to what I think most easily find uh, the reference points in the Sayle logic files that I'm providing as part of this uh, part of this project um, and find the uh, the points find the points in that file that I reference here uh, in these pictures where I identify uh, the preamble data marker uh, the different uh, the different bits that are available throughout the entire data block as well as other pictures where we show I don't know things like this the end and the diagnostics basic diagnostics that I'm doing for this so the point is just to be able to find a reference point because it's very very difficult if, uh, if you don't know how so when you look at uh, one of my pictures like this what you want to look for is uh, at the top is the um, is the time basically it's an arbitrary time from the time that I hit go on the Sayle logic uh, analyzer um, to the to the time that I the, the file ended right so it's not that there's not a trigger point set with any of these files it's more arbitrary so finding this point in time is is less of an exact science but here's how I found the best way to do that so we'll just want to you know zoom in on these pictures so that we can see really well here um, <clears throat> first of all I want to point out that for this particular example, I'm dealing with the QIC hex FF that logic data file right here. So if you were to uh, download that particular file from the location I provided, then uh, you can follow along with me here. But in this particular picture, uh, where I am showing the preamble and data marker, you you might want to find the exact point in the uh, <clears throat> in the logic analyzer file. So I think the way to do that would be to Look for the large. Look for the largest number here. This will tell you where you at. Where excuse me, where you're at in that entire scale. Um, basically, three million four hundred thirteen thousand one hundred uh, microseconds is this point right here. So our goal would be to find three million four hundred thirteen thousand one hundred microseconds. And in essence, that's really going to be more like 3.4 seconds, but we're going to actually want to get down this far because it really is that detailed. So keep this number in mind, 3413100. So um, I've opened this file in the Sayle Logic Analyzer. Um, if you don't know where to find that, I've provided these uh, for download in this uh, in this folder that I'm linking to this linking to this video, and this one just happens to be right here, uh, QIC hex ff logic data. You can just download this from Google Drive. All right, <clears throat> uh, and we're assuming that you've already in, uh, downloaded and installed the uh, free Sayle Logic Analyzer, uh, this version or a slightly comparable version. All right, anyway, back to uh, back to this number, three point four one three one zero zero seconds is what we're looking. So we can see that uh, we have zero seconds, one second, two seconds, three seconds. All right, so I believe that we're looking for 3.4, right? So we're going to want to, if I just hit the scroll wheel here, uh, I put the cursor somewhere where I think 3.4 is going to be, and that's going to be right about here. Uh, not up here because it doesn't work, but the cursor actually has to be down here in the black area. And then I just move the scroll wheel up. And... Um, 3.4 and what's the next number so I'm going to toggle back to this 3.4131 that's what we're looking for three now don't lose my bearing there three seconds 3.41 3.41 and I have a short memory sorry 3.413100 all right so 3.41 Three, one, zero, zero. So basically, right here, and lo and behold, once we zoom in that closely, <clears throat> we see that this particular data pattern begins to appear. And this is the data pattern that I was uh, analyzing in this particular file. So we go back to this file and zoom out a little bit so we can see 
uh, the bulk of the file. You can see the preamble, the data marker. We see that this first blank of two zeros is right here. And again, that first blank of two zeros is right here. We have three pulses, a blank, four pulses, a blank, three pulses, a blank, four pulses, a blank. And most importantly, we see that we're at three, uh, three million four hundred thirteen thousand one hundred microseconds here, which corresponds with this three million four hundred thirteen thousand one hundred microseconds here. So this is the easiest way that I know to find a corresponding, po a corresponding point from the pictures I'm providing for this analysis in the uh, Saley logic uh, uh, data logic data file. And I uh, just wanted to thank you very much for watching this, and thank you for helping with this project.